Hey there, welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, a podcast that gives much more than it ever takes. Don't know what that means, yeah. just said it. What do you mean? I put no thought into these introductions. Sona, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Your leg is get going a little fast today. I know, Are why? Are you nervous about something? Yeah, I'm really scared to be here. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you might be nervous. Your leg is going like a jackhammer. Can I be honest? I think I had too much chocolate before we recorded, and I really think it's like sugar is is pumping through we my We all veins. had a different place at this round table that I grew up at uh, in our kitchen, and my mother, my seat was next to my mother. My mother was to my right, so I was on her left. And I'm a, I have a jiggly leg. Yeah, yeah you have restless leg right? syndrome. Restless leg, and it goes like a jackhammer, and my mother used to just grab it like a vice and squeeze it and go, don't do that. People will think something's wrong with you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, and so we cleared that up. No one's ever thought something's wrong with me. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was that one yeah. thing. Yeah. She didn't tell me don't make 900,000 hours of crazy fucked up content and put it all over the internet. I kept that leg still. Maybe if the leg was going, I'd be perfectly normal. Maybe you should get a full leg cast, like a cast iron cast on your leg. Or then your whole body would start going. Fake legs so oh. that my torso goes through. My torso's there, but then I just have fake. And then I could like add calf muscles, make them more attractive. Where are your yeah, legs? Where, where are what? your normal legs? Where How do you get around? Legs? I don't know. I would have them removed. <laughs> oh, it's not like they're hidden. I should have had them hidden, and I don't know why I went to remove. <laughs> yeah, so extreme. I question that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad idea. I don't know. I'm just I'm going ahead with it anyway. So this is always. Yes, I've always had a restless leg, and I don't know why I called you out on yours because you really don't. You're I don't have one. I'm usually what, chill. What about you, Gorley? Do you have any ticks like that or any? Well, leg I have stuff? that actual restless legs condition at night when you get those horrible restless legs. And I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. It's yeah. like a syndrome. It's a thing where you you get like. Pin, need, pins and needles and you can't sleep and your legs feel crazy. Oh, that sounds what? serious. Oh, Are yeah, you okay? I Probably not. Well, you should get checked out. I have. There's nothing can be done about it. It's neurological. They don't know what causes it. Uh, oh, I didn't mean so to bring this down. So when you lay down, fine. your legs have pins and needles? Yeah, or they feel like they're like half asleep, but you got to move them even though that doesn't really help. Okay, I'm going to ask our listeners if there is a doctor listening or someone who knows about this condition, could you please contact us? Because... You might, there might be something going on here. How do they contact us? Uh, I'm sure Sky Edward writing. will tell us. <laughs> There's yeah. a phone number that they can leave a voicemail on. I I've yeah. spoken <laughs> to my doctor. I, I, love okay. that, I love that we're a podcast that has a phone number. <laughs> There's a phone number. one five 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 Wrigley 22 <laughs> um, You've spoken to a doctor. I have, yeah. Was it a good doctor or like some sort of kooky doctor that you might have uh, i was a witch doctor i thought so no, it was it was my doctor my general practitioner everything's fine don't don't it's no one should have any concern well, anyone, I know. <laughs> you're kept awake at night by pins and needles feelings in your legs don't go away it's interesting i don't know what that is I what think... if it just turns out you guys have termites oh <laughs> it's no, just an infestation you're being eaten. yeah you're really being eaten alive <laughs> as you lay in bed at least that's the problem. A solution i'd take it oh, i uh yeah i have an I have an itchy uh, back, like my right shoulder blade. And recently, uh, my dermatologist said there's absolutely nothing there, and it's just neurological. Oh. It's an itch that isn't there. It's a phantom, phantom itch. itch. Yeah. Oh Ooh, my god. Weird. Yeah. Do you have a back scratcher? Uh, we did have one. Then he and fired then him. It, what's that? He yeah. Fired him. <laughs> I found it. It's illegal <laughs> to pay a man that little to scratch your back. Uh, the Better Business Bureau got involved. No, I. I think my wife found one and then it went, it disappeared. And now I swear to God, we'll be watching TV at night and I'll stand up, get off the couch, go over to the wall, find a corner. And oh I'll, I'm God. like a bear in the woods. Yeah. I start raking my back across the edge of a doorway Whoa. because, and I'm told it's quite common. It's something that happens. It's neurological. It's not real. But it feels real to me. Oh. We're fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is why we've been driven to this. This gig, I think. You, this both, medium. you both have things that like are really not diagnosable. They're well, just neurological. Yeah. yeah. That's that's weird. Well, I don't know. You might have stuff too. You just I don't think do you go to a doctor and stuff? What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. You you're you have you I know that your parents are very old school. Yes? They are old school. And you tell me all the time that your father grew up in a village. Yes. Right? Yes. And uh 
that so I don't know if you grew up. I mean, did they? I don't know what, what happened. Did they what? Did you grow up in a small okay, village? You know what? We weren't as dependent on doctors as a lot of people are, but maybe that's a good thing. Sure. But I also I don't think uh, I have anything with my body that's like a neurological thing. I mean, I feel like you guys like that should be more concerning, but you're both like, eh, whatever. When you say it's not a bad thing that you never went to the doctor as a child. Yeah. You're I say we didn't rely on doctors as much as a lot of you people. You said dependent and that's yeah. not a bad thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's But not the first bad time I met your dad, like... I noticed that he has a pipe going through his head. <laughs> and I said, well, "What about that pipe?" And he went, "Oh, it'll it'll go away on its own." He said, this, this uh, truck ahead of me dropped this off on the highway. It went through my head. 1969. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Why do you pick on my dad so I love much? your dad. I know. He's well, got the best mustache I've ever seen. My dad's the best. What would their remedy be for his neurological phantom itch? Yeah. What would your mom say to do? Because I do um, trust she has some old like folk remedies. She does have. She's very much in the old sort of like voodoo thing. Like when we wanted to have babies, I think I told you yeah. she like buried a baby under a bush. A lie. Not wait, a real. Wait, not she a real buried baby. a baby. <laughs> not a real. What baby. the fuck? Like she should have just not given you the baby. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give you the baby. Wait a minute. A a wait a minute. Doll. A baby doll. What, and guess so what? Gotta, It'll work. Can I say something? You've got to say that. Okay. You've got to say that was so upsetting. You did bury the lead. You had so upsetting. We really wanted a baby, so she. She buried a baby in the backyard. <laughs> what a what a monster. Yeah, no, it was no, under it was a bush. A, it was a baby doll. It was a doll. She buried a doll under a bush. Is it was it one there? of the is it a talking doll? No, once we had the boys, she was like, it, it, uh, this it's done. It can, worked. Can I say something? I was by your house, remember the last time, and I was walking around the backyard and I stepped on what I a loose piece of grass and I heard, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. That baby's still alive. No, it's a talking baby. Wait, where is this those... baby? So somewhere there's just a dirt crusted baby sitting in your mom's house, or yeah, what? probably hundreds of them. Oh, oh God, Dude. yeah, Blue for, ev for really? every day that Sona was married, for every day Sona was married, she would do it. Nine hundred plastic baby dolls were stolen yesterday from a Walmart, plus a shovel. <laughs> If police find either one, please report. Oh, man. So, uh, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I mean, they would. I think, I really think you two need to figure out why these things are happening to your bodies. I think we should talk to your mom. Yeah. I, I think my because, mom could fix it. Can we have Be her in? Yeah. Your mother, uh, because I've noticed in the past when I have not felt well, you have told me, oh, here's what my mom would do. And it's it sounds pretty cool. Like yeah. your mom has good, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, it sounds like she has, really good remedies for some things. The burying the plastic baby, uh, that there's, seems a little... There's a few missteps, but for the most part, she's been pretty... Like, my brother and I are, are, are pretty healthy people. Like, we don't, you know, we don't... We've been... We've, we're okay. We're alive. Yeah, you don't sound convincing. Yeah, <laughs> we're alive. Well, okay, Mr. <laughs> needle Legs and Weird Itch on my back. Phantom Itch! <laughs> Phantom Restless itch. Legs, thank you very much. <laughs> Restless you leg and you two are fucked itch. up, and you're getting mad at me because of the way I'm dealing with my we body. We never shit. got mad at you. Yeah, you, know, you, you, you come from a very judgy place. I don't think so. No. Yes, you are. You're coming from a very this judgy place. This whole thing place. started with you going, You guys need to get that fucking checked out. <laughs> yeah. You went from telling us, You got to get that fucking checked out to my mother buried a baby in the backyard. <laughs> That we're allowed to judge, by yeah. the way. By the way, that some judgment is in order. Oh, uh, it works. Like I a, have two sentencing. How do you think my two children happened? You think that just well, happened? I have a theory. <laughs> <laughs> Did she bury two uh, no, boy just one. baby dolls? She just wanted children of some kind. I don't think it matters how many you bury. How does this work if you're like, mm, I really want a turkey sandwich. Do you just bury a turkey sandwich? Oh my or? God. Yeah. No, you just go get a turkey sandwich, Matt. That's how it works. Okay. Now, you have to bury that sandwich, <laughs> then hope another sandwich you know comes. And then when that sandwich doesn't come, you have to buy that sandwich and bury it. You die of starvation with 900 turkey sandwiches buried underneath the you ground. Go, go rub your back on the wall. Oh, oh, oh go I, rub your back. Go rub your back. I love that put down. <laughs> ah, go rub it. You know what? True story. My mother, if she was losing an argument to one of my sisters, and I swear to God I was there for this, she said, ah, go wash your face. Oh. <laughs> I heard this in like 1970. 
My sister, one of my sisters was going like, no, but mom, I don't know. She was like, oh, go wash your face. Oh, go wash that. your face. There's a Shakespearean that. one that's go taste your legs, which means like use your legs, run away, go away. Oh, I, oh, oh. I see. Make okay. use of your legs. Yeah. I like go wash yeah, your face. I like, I'm going to use go wash I'm your gonna face. I'm going to use that on yeah. Liza. Next no, time she's don't talking use that to me. on Liza. Next time she's saying, you know, who, how dare you smash all the dishes in the kitchen, which I do occasionally. Oh. It's sort of like a Zorba the Greek thing, you know, like, yay, Zorba. It is good luck. Yeah. And then uh, she'll, I'm gonna, and she gets mad at me. I'm gonna go, ah, go wash your face. I'm gonna try it and see how it no, works. No, I don't want you to say it, Eliza, but I wanna definitely say it to someone. Ah, right. go bury a baby. Ah, go bury the baby. Okay. Uh, dark, very dark. It is dark. You gotta say plas doll. plastic baby or yeah. baby doll. Yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. not what you did. I know, I should have said that. Well, your own fault. Anyway.